Here's a really beautiful infinite nested radical. We want to find what value x this converges to, assuming it converges at all. The first step is to notice the pattern in these numbers. Look at the numbers inside. 2, 4, 8, 16. These aren't random. They're successive powers of 2. So we can rewrite this using exponential form. 2 to the first, 2 squared, 2 cubed, and so on. Now, remember that a square root is the same as raising to the power of one-half. Writing it this way makes the structure clearer. Now we can use exponent rules to simplify this. When you raise a power to another power, you multiply the exponents. So we distribute these exponents from the outside working our way in. The first term gets raised to the one-half power. The second gets one-half times one-half. The third gets one-half times one-half times one-half, and so on. Let's multiply these out. So we get two to the one-half, times two to the two-fourths, times two to the three-eighths, and so on. Notice I'm leaving those fractions unreduced. There's a pattern here that we want to see. When you multiply powers with the same base, you add the exponents. So x equals 2 raised to this infinite sum in the exponent. The whole problem comes down to finding what this series adds up to. Now let's figure out what this infinite series sums to. Let's call this sum s. This is what's called an arithmetico-geometric series. In sigma notation, it's the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of n over 2 to the n. There's a really clever technique for finding this sum. Here's our series s. The trick is to multiply the whole thing by one half. So one half times s is this. Distributing gives us this new series. Now subtract the second series from the original. On the left, that's just one half s. On the right, when we line things up and subtract, we get one half on its own then two-fourths minus one-fourth, three-eighths minus two-eighths, and so on. And look what happens when we do these subtractions. We get this really nice geometric series. And we need to know what this adds up to. For a geometric series, the sum is a divided by one minus r, where a is the first term and r is the common ratio. Here, the first term is one-half, and the ratio is also one-half. Let's simplify the denominator. One minus one-half is one-half. One-half divided by one-half is one. So one-half s equals one, which means s equals two. Now we can find the final answer. Remember, x was two to the power of s, and we just found that s equals two. So x is 2 squared, which gives us x equals 4. So this infinitely nested radical, which looked pretty intimidating at first, turns out to equal just 4. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, consider liking and subscribing for more.